Hi guys, welcome to You Counseling. I wanted to talk today about the topic of how fear and shame work together to hinder us from achieving our goals, whether that be our therapy goals, our lifetime goals, our career goals, financial goals, relationship goals. It can really apply to any type of goal. I wanted to discuss basically the mechanism that quite often will keep us from achieving goals or from even attempting them. And that is that most people, in fact, I would say every person in their life experiences some level of fear. Fear can be based in our past experience. It can be based in maybe the consequences, for example, of taking a business decision or starting a new therapy program. But fear is a universal emotion. When we look at people who are billionaires, when we look at people who are celebrities or athletes, most of these people at some point will talk about fear, about achieving their goals, and not quite feeling certain in their ability to do what they want to do or hope to do. Now, especially for those of us with anxiety, fear is often heightened. It can be exaggerated by some of our more negative thoughts. So it really can paralyze us from achieving or getting what we want out of our lives because we're spending so much time in this place of fear that isn't mindful, it isn't present focused, it's it's focused on what could go wrong in the future or what has gone wrong in the past. And so this is where the shame part comes in because as human beings, we often care about what other people think about us we care about our outcomes, and a lot of the time we don't want to be the laughing stock. We don't want people to say, I told you so. And we don't always get from people around us the encouragement maybe that we need to take on a new project. So what happens here is that we can either be reminded of past shame, people might make us feel shame for having the goals that we have, and this kind of leads us back again into this vicious cycle where we feel afraid and we feel shameful. And if we have had failures in the past, it reminds us of that shame that really keeps us down here. And actually, fear and shame work the same way with things like addictions and goals for sobriety or goals for harm reduction of substance use. If we constantly focus on shame, we allow ourselves to start feeling bad about ourselves. We focus on our failures. We focus on things that really dent our self-esteem. And we allow people's comments and thoughts and criticisms of us to kind of become our own thoughts, which then affects our ability to kind of take on these goals in our lives that we want to take on. So today I really just wanted to challenge you to think about what are some goals or some things you want in your life. Um, and they don't have to be financial goals. They don't have to be relationship goals. They can just be goals about your anxiety and your mental well-being. And no one has to know about these goals. Other people don't have to understand them because only you know your story and your walk. But I want you to really focus on how do I meet those goals in my life? And acknowledge that, yes, sometimes I feel fear. And maybe even sometimes you feel shame. People don't always understand our goals. They don't always encourage us towards success. So how do we cope in life with knowing the truth for ourselves and focusing on those things that we are good at and, and having those goals of things we want to be better at or that we want to do with our lives? without letting fear and shame, those two really common destroyers of goals and success in people's lives, how do we not let those take the wheel? And my thought on that and something that I do quite often is listen to podcasts, listen to 
positive videos or even like things like my YouTube channel. Check out more information and learn more information about the things that you're going through or the things that you want to work on because knowledge is power. If you are around people who make you feel shame, maybe you need to distance those people in your life a bit more or try not to allow those comments to kind of infiltrate into your inner thinking and your inner being because we're always going to encounter negative people but how can we take some of that negativity or, or that criticism of us and and not let it penetrate deep into our belief about ourselves because only we know our path right so that was kind of my topic for the day because i think fear and shame so often fuel so much of our mental health issues that we see as well they really lead us into a negative thinking spiral and that can really flare up for people who have depression who have any kind of trauma people who have like learning disabilities or difficulties in those ways these are all things that that can be fueled by this fear and the shame that are so common in people's lives. So I, I want you to know today, don't get knocked down just because someone doesn't understand your goals or someone doesn't believe in you because at the heart of it, as long as you believe in yourself and that you've given it your best shot, then that's what is really important. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I post weekly videos. Don't forget, if you are struggling with anxiety um, or negative thinking, to download my free guide. And you can get that at www.jordanburness.com. My social media links are all below. So contact us there. And also, subscribe to our channel.